what are the likely failures failures sorry of a treatment plan likely failures from a wastewater treatment system okay um when we talk about failures um it's usually going to be some form of electrical side of things it might also be um not understanding or the homeowner understanding um that they have a wastewater treatment system in the first place um so it's important to remember that the wastewater treatment system is a a working biological system and we need to basically look after it where we can so we basically want to have biogradable um, items going down into that tank um, so then the um, the treatment barge process can happen. If we start putting um, plastics and rubber, um, cans, lot, um, hair dye, all this sort of stuff down into the tank, generally it will upset that biological process. Again, if it's, you could also refer to cleaning products in excess of amounts as well. It's good to uh, achieve an equilibrium, a balance within the tank so we can ensure our treatment plants um, works as well as it can do. That's in relation to the biological side. In terms of um, parts themselves, um, we do have, um, with all different types of wastewater treatment system, working components on this system, and they will wear over time. So certainly the compressor, whether this be a diaphragm compressor, piston, it could be rotational blades, they will have a lifespan. Um, the set of installation structures that come with them will um, tell you what they need to do. You may need to change the air filter. Um, if it's a piston or a diaphragm compressor, that needs to be to just be taken out and just washed and then put back in again. If it's a rotary vein compressor, you need to take the blades out and replace them every 3,000 working hours. So there's a bit of understanding and appreciation that needs to be taken into consideration of the working components. Um, if you do um, uh, want to, to get a better understanding, of course, all manufacturers will, pay, um, will offer a service manual um, with the system. There is quite a lot of information within those. It's kind of... Um, why we kind of recommend to get service engineers involved who have got a general understanding of how those systems work. Uh, so make sure if you are worried, get a and competent engineer in to basically service your system. Of course, if you did need to want to know more about it as well, that I'm sure they can give you some on-site advice as well. So um, certainly here at Graph, we're very um, flexible in terms of sending engineers out. And if you wanted to learn more about the system, the engineer will discuss it with you in terms of what we look for, how the system works and, yeah, generally some um, some some good tips to ensure that we're getting the best from the system.